everybody, it's it's everybody's favorite dude. You know, Bugsy. Eh? <laughs> well, probably not everybody's favorite. I'm not everybody's favorite. People don't. Some people don't like me. Just just straight up. Some people hate me. Think that I my my opinions and my reviews are invalid because sometimes I just go against their criticisms. And I'm looking at the newbie's perspective of this. And you know what? I want to talk about my take on the whole. I want to re talk about my take on the whole, uh, you know, Sonic fighting Eggman in the Robotnik Victorious arc. Which is what Sonic Comic World used to call it. And I'm calling it that right now. And you guys are probably like, oh, here we go. Bugsy's going to talk about why he loves the comics again. Have we had enough? And I'm like, listen here, man. Listen, listen. If you don't want me to talk about Sonic, go somewhere else, okay? Take your Sonic hate that you have for a hedgehog that you probably haven't even played or just because you know about Sonic or you know a little bit about... Or you know a little bit about, or you know a little bit about 06 or any of the other stuff. Let me just say, let me just say one little thing. Sonic wasn't always a laughing stock. Sonic was important. I mean, sure, kids today only know Sonic as memes, a few bet, a, a one mediocre game. A whole bunch of memes. But again, I want to show you that Sonic was taken seriously, but not to the point where it was like it was like too serious. It was just the right amount. And yes, I do still get mad. And yeah, for anybody asks, yes, I saw I saw Comic Drake's little video on on the um, on him talking about it, why he loves the IDW comics and why he thinks the RG comics were so bad and it spawned a whole bunch of other fans who were crazy. And I've made a video talking about that and really saying no, people, crazy people always existed in the fandom before, before the comic and after it, but it wasn't the direct cause of it. Again, that's why I hate about most people who just say like, "Oh, well, this is the cause. That's the cause. That's that's the cause of why everybody is like this and that with Sonic." And I hate that because it's like, it's nothing's the cause. We can just have crazy people in a fandom. You guys just want to pin this on any kind of Sonic media because you don't understand it. And let me be real. That's why. That's why a lot of you don't like the RG comics because none of you understand it or don't want to understand it. And then you think Night of the Wind's so and you think Night of the Wind's thing is so good. Woo! Night of the Wind! Ooh. I'm just like, could you could we not talk about fucking Night of the Wind? That man picks comics and goes, Ooh, oh, let me make a joke about this. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, and to me that's just like it's so annoying. It's so fucking annoying. I'm not gonna say like he don't have a right to make his video. He has a right to make his video. I don't think he's gonna. I haven't seen him make a whole bunch of um, Archie Sonic videos in a while, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping he's actually taking time to read some of it before he just jumps right in. <sighs> and I'm not trying to convert you to. And let me let me start by saying I'm not trying to convert anybody. I'm not trying to convert anybody in the like in Sonic. I'm not trying to convert any of you. I'm just trying to show you that there's a lot more to Sonic than you all think. There's a lot more to writers who actually gave a fuck about Sonic than you think. That is my... That is my reason. And yeah, I'm using this comic dub because it's better than me just reading it out to you guys. 
Yeah. And I can go out to look for FBI. Do do that one? She'll do anything. Watch it, baby. All I gotta say, all I gotta say is, did, did Laura Sue just call, I mean, did Julie Sue, did, did Julie Sue just call freaking Rouge, uh, did Julie Sue just call Rouge a whore? I'm pretty sure, because that old she'll do anything kind of just. Oh boy. I guess it's a good sign that we can afford a little banter lately. Things have never been better, Sally. You Not only is it in the little city, we've got a sweet little home away from home here in Freedom HQ. Families are reunited after so much time apart. The monopoly is young and strong. While the villains are on the decline, we've already got some of the worst locked away safely. At this rate, we'll trouble it next. And another thing, this actually tells you what's going on. Like, it gives you a brief thing of what's going on. Eggman's kind of you know, they've kind of, most of the bad guys are on a decline because most of them are in jail. Eggman's still out there. Eggman's technically still out there, but mostly everybody's just enjoying the peace right now. And yes. The fight between Sonic and Tails kind of pisses me off, but only because Sonic just, I don't know, he just wasn't really getting to with what Tails was, was going through and all this other shit. It's kind of what I feel like, um, you know, Sonic the comic Tails would be, you know, because that Sonic always called him Pixel Brain and Stupid and all this other shit. But that's a video for another day. And yes, Snively joined the Freedom Fighters for a bit, but then, you know, Robotnik, even though it wasn't his Robotnik, long story there, got him, brought him back, and he was like, Snively. I think, if I remember correctly, he threatened him, but he's like, join me, and all this other stuff. But he willingly went back to Robotnik because, you know, he's scared of him. As you know, this this was actually kind of sad because you know, all you know, I can just tell you this: all Tails had was the Freedom Fighters, and you know, just for him to just be like, "Never mind, Sonic." It's just kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of sad to me, a little bit. And this is like fresh when he, this is like fresh when Snively actually like went back to Eggman. So he knows, so he knows where, so he knows where their hideout is and all this other shit. So that's, that's basically why he was able to do all that. Why Rotor has his back. Now this, when I read this shit, okay, okay, let me explain to you guys. We didn't know what happened to happen to everybody. For all I knew, Eggman, like, Snively was killing people. That's all I thought I knew. Like, everybody was getting it. Funny, get him outside and give us some room. Come on, And don't worry, guys, I'm going to have my own version of it. 
I'm gonna have my own version of events on this pretty soon. Whenever, when I get around to Sonic Freedom Fighters, trust me, my version is a lot more fucked up. But yeah. But yeah. Snip. But Snively basically just found out where he knew where everybody was, and he just took took everybody out. Stay back! Mighty's lost it, and you do not want to be in the middle of that. How did you do that to Ray? He could never hurt you! I told him I'd keep him safe, and you go and vaporize him! Fine. I will watch you to be left out. Oh, man. Now we go! Same I, since my work here is done, after all... I still hate the little weasel. To be quite frank with you guys, I still hate the weasel. He's one of those. He's one of those fucking you know minion characters you just hate. And I don't mean. And I don't mean despicable me minions. I'm talking about actual fucking minions. Because he's always been a weasel. Don't worry, guys. I'm fat enough to get there in time to save you. Again, I've talked about this scene before, but let me just... Again, everything is gone. Everything is gone or destroyed. The weight that Sonic must feel because of the Lake of Rings, which is where Sonic would get most of his energy. Chuck's diner. Chuck's diner, because that was kind of a place where Sonic would get chili dogs, and that was kind of that was kind of his Uncle Chuck's uh, just place where he'd be if he wasn't doing his other stuff. Pretty iconic stuff. Now this, all this was very iconic stuff, guys. To see, so to see this gone, trust me, I was right there. It was like I was. It was like I was right there with Sonic, feeling what he was feeling. It's all gone. I bet Elias got everyone into the castle. They'll be safe there. I can get there and help everyone hold off the invasion. In a way, this was like an all is lost moment. Oh. Now I'm about to get, hit you guys with some of that good. Again, if he didn't say that, if Robotic just made it look like they actually did die, I think I think Sonic would have snapped. To be quite honest with you, I am not fucking getting with you. I think if Robotic would have just left that out. And yes, I do call him Robotnik because that ain't that ain't the Eggman we know. That is Mecha Robotnik, and I will talk about Mecha Robotnik sometime in the future because oh my god, he is scary. Well, his concept is. Like, like, let me be real with you. This ain't the, like when I said when I talked about when I talked about Mecha Sally talking about Sonic's mistakes and all his failures. Again, like, like in that fight, which is like way in the future of this moment. Again, these failures still weigh on Sonic's mind. He doesn't. It's not like I like I always say. That day goes by, he doesn't think about all this stuff. You know. So, 
Oh, so, yeah. Now, Sonic lost it while fighting Robotnik. He didn't lose it while fighting Mecha Sally, but that's a different story. Like, like again, remember, Sonic's the one always giving the quips, always the one that's insulting Eggman while they fight. And I swear to you, I swear to you, this was the moment where Robotnik was as about as threatening as he could be. And I, and I know, Forces tried to do that, but they just couldn't really pull it off. I'm not saying Mike Pollock ain't capable of it. I'm, I'm pretty sure he is. And he goes like, no, Mike Pollock wasn't right for it. Yeah, he can, he can do threatening. Trust me, when I saw the whole, I will, he's like, I'll watch everything you love burn and all that other shit. I was like, that's Mike Pollock still saying that shit, right? Like, you got, like, that's the thing. And I know some of you were like, well, I don't care about Sonic. Why are you watching this fucking video, man? Go do something. Shove an egg up your ass. I don't know. Shove, like, five different eggs up your ass. And then shoot them out like a Yoshi. I don't know. Like, if this video isn't for you, I don't know why the fuck are you here. That's all I'm saying. And anybody that says this is cringe, fuck you. Okay? Just... Fuck you and your video idea. Go, go, go sodomize a pine cone, a gopher, I don't know. Some, something that has an abnormally, uh, and an, and an abnormally large hole that you can stick your, you can stick your meat into veg in. And I'm telling you, I'm gonna go to the other one to show you really how how their fights really go and what was the subversion of this, but I don't think they got the other comic dub of the rest of this story out. They probably do, I'm not sure. Like, he really, like, let me just, again, this illustrates pretty much my point. He really had Sonic on the ropes. Like, he really was about to fucking destroy Sonic. If he didn't leave Sonic to live, he would have fucking killed him. You know? I'm not done with you yet. Like, seriously, that shit gives me fucking chills every time I read it. Because he's like, like, he's like, get up, rodent. I'm not done with you yet. Because that, even though Robotnik is his Eggman design, I still hear, like, Jim Cummings' Eggman voice, like, Jim Cummings' Robotnik voice coming out of his mouth. Or, like, he still has the, but he has, like, the Eggman voice, but in that moment, he just goes... He just talks like uh, his robotic Jim coming voice. And it just. <laughs> it's like that. But yeah, he did get freaking. He did have Sonic on the ropes. Like, seriously. Ah, all your futile actions me so much. You'll never win this battle, Sonic. You will not. Keep talking, Big Doc. I'm not done yet. You will finish before the age is even begun, Bob Bob. 
This battle suit is specifically designed to match and outclass your speed and <laughs> The only reason you can take this much punishment is due to all those magic rings you lost. <laughs> which means I get to toy with you. Ergo, why he can still. Ergo, why uh, Sonic can actually still take all this, take all this advanced beating. Longer than should be. Just all this fucking, I've all this fucking punishment. We've reached our limits. 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 Limit. Yeah. Limit. Crack the head on via the cage spy satellite. Where did he go? He's tracking now, sir. He's he's moving a lot faster than you calculated he could. Okay. I mean, I know this was futile, but this is how powerful Archie Sonic technically is if you ever pissed him off. Like, again, I'm still in all of this because this is how powerful Sonic can be if you pissed him off. Again, something they could have used in forces, but again, if I keep talking about forces, I'm just gonna make myself sad. Oh, God, <laughs> and even Eggman for a minute was fucking scared, and I gotta like that shit. Because Eggman knew he pissed off, he pissed off the wrong head up. Oh, wow. Eggman. It's just a lie, Sonic. No way! Although I am a little upset that you dented my decision. Like I said, Sonic. Yeah! Go out to battle. Outclassed. You're not fast enough. You're not strong enough. And you, and you certainly aren't. Not, not enough to defeat me. I'm going right to I'm sorry, I, I know I shouldn't be reading this because we already got a comic dump, but god dang, these lines, these lines, because it really just shows how fucking confident and how threatening Eggman is right now. And that's what I've always wanted for Eggman to be. I mean, yeah, I love the goofy Eggman, but I would love to see Eggman actually on top. Not how he was in fucking Forces, where he had Infinite do most of his dirty work, but he's the one literally fucking doing it. Like, tell me you wouldn't like to see a game of this. Where's, where freaking Eggman is doing the same thing he did in Forces, but it's all him. It's all him. Sonic is on the ropes. Again, again, they tried to do that with forces, but again, it kind of was, you know, when I really think about it, it's more lessened because it wasn't Eggman who did it. It was Infinite. Only because he had the Phantom Ruby. Like, say, what if Eggman was able to possess the Phantom Ruby? What if he was able to use it within himself, transforming him into something a little bit more uh, familiar for some of us? I don't know. Maybe that would have been cool. <sighs> Again, I always talk about how much of a wasted potential it could have been if Eggman really had the Phantom Ruby. But yeah. And another thing with the egg grapes. It's kind of what Robotnik is already has always done. Well, in the games, used animals to fuel his machines. So again, I kind of like this because it fits. The one for the rest of your life and never stand the humiliation of the day. 
And some of you probably are gonna ask me about this, and I'm just gonna cut you off in the past. Yeah, if Bug the Hedgehog was actually in this too, he'd get his ass kicked too. But it'd be more, he'd be more pissed off, like more pissed off than Sonic is. He'd have been like, "I swear to you, Eggman, you should have killed me. Should have killed me." He's like holding on to Sonic. I swear, when we figure out how to beat you, you're done. You're done, Eggman. You're done. You know, basically, that's how he'd go. And I probably revealed a little too much, but there it is. <laughs> but yeah. Yes. Again, the reason why Eggman let Sonic go was mostly because he just wants to see fun he wants to see Sonic suffer. That's one of the things he let him go because he could have killed him. He could have killed him. He could have just said, "He could have. He had him right where he wanted him. He could have just." And just finish them. I mean, trust me, this comic is not above killing off characters. I mean, one character got their fucking neck snaps. I am not kidding. Go look that up. Sonic! Sonic! Uh, great sales. I'm really sorry, Sonic. We dug out as best as we could, and... <laughs> Don't sweat it. I'll heal. Everything. Everything is gone. Eggman's blood. <laughs> yeah. For now. For now? What do you... Oh. You're still breathing, right? And everyone is still alive. It means we've got a chance. Let's get Amy and Knuckles and hurry over to Eggman's place. <laughs> we don't want to play with the party. This felt like, the, and just hearing Sonic say that line, after everything that was, everything was kind of peaceful and safe for a while, and just seeing everything just go to shit, brought back the old status quo of all of them versus Eggman, and it being a little bit more dire than it was, than it was now. Because not all is destroyed. Not whole is destroyed. Everything Sonic has ever loved or cared for is fucking destroyed. Everything he's captured, it's like an all is lost moment. But that, but Sonic, Sonic has a plan. Sonic knows what's up. And since everybody's alive, he has a little bit of hope. That, that is what Sonic is, okay? Is even when shit seems dire, he can get serious. He can be angry. He can be pissed off. He can he can do what he has to do. Again, I like Roger Craig and Smith. His voice is Sonic, but I think he could be a, he could do Sonic serious. I mean the man voice Chris the man voice Chris Redfield and fucking Enzio. He can fucking do this. I'm just like saying, why won't you just give, why won't you just try again with this and really look at the comic? Look why, look, look why we wanted a serious Sonic game. Why the rest of the, why the rest of the people who don't understand why, why people like us would want a serious Sonic game. I just want to direct them to this issue. I want to direct them to Endgame and really show them why we want something like this. <sighs> you guys always go, Sonic doesn't work in a serious setting. Sonic could never work in a serious setting because he's a head dog, and this comic is way too serious. So, trust me, there have been a lot of goofy, there have been a lot of characters who started off goofy, who started off as, you know, playful kid stuff, and who event, what event, and eventually got more serious. Um, can I say reboot? Or if you want something a little bit more, uh, if you want something a little bit more cartoony, the concept, the concept for Epic Mickey? Penguin? Hmm. That, that, that's not doing it for you? 
Hmm, let's see, let's see, what else? The fact that hmm, the overall concept for Setium, it's the overall concept for Setium itself. It took something that was from the games, something that was more lighthearted, and it's something a little bit more serious. And the old Son and the old Sonic team probably used that to make Sonic CD. Something that really technically sort of felt like San Diego in the dark in the darkness and direness of that situation. Because like in Sonic CD, when you go into the past, Eggman won! Eggman took nature and said, Fuck you, I own you now. And I know, well, Bugsy, you're just you're just saying that because you want Sonic to be serious and it wouldn't sell. And I'm like, wouldn't sell? Who the fuck says it wouldn't sell? Because I can tell you, there's a lot of fans who want a serious Sonic that would pay out the ass for something like this. The thing is, Sonic Team just has to capitalize on it. And I don't think they will, because they're more, they want Sonic to be more goofy, and say more jokes, and be a little wise, be a little wise cracking head talk with, with something to say always. And that's fine. But I feel like there's some merit here. There's some actual stakes here that you could use that is even more greater than the shit that was going on in Sonic Forces. I mean, you guys think I'm putting a little bit more importance on this, but personally, this is why I like this arc. Because it takes everything that so it takes everything we know about Sonic up until this point and turns it up and turn it and turn it dustly on its head. And that's why I love this. That's why I love this so much. That's why I love this arc. Because Sonic's at his lowest point, but even still, he still thinks of a plan. He still thinks of a way to get out of it. And the fight when they go to New Mobotropolis, and they fucking have Eggman at their mercy? Oh, man. That was like, that was like so therapeutic, even though they didn't arrest him. But I swear to you. I swear to you, on my, on my honor, as a fucking writer, this is the kind of shit Sega needs to be using. This is the kind of shit Sonic Team needs to be using. You know? Because we need something more like this than what we had in Forces. We need people that are willing to go the extra mile. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing about Sonic Forces. The only thing, the only thing I really truly liked about it was the fact that you had an Avatar character fulfilling some childhood dream of mine back in the day. But to really have Sonic in this situation would not only be action packed, even though a few people would be like, "Well, this doesn't need to be serious because Sonic doesn't need a story." And trust me. Trust me. Every time I hear Alex, every time I hear Alex say, I'm like, "Fuck you," <laughs> because that dude's like, "Sonic doesn't need." I'm like, "Boy, Sonic always had a story. You were just too busy going through loop de loops and getting rings. That's why you don't give a shit. That's why you don't know shit." <sighs> Sorry, guys. I oh, don't know, I just had that bubbling in me for a while. But, we're not done, folks. Okay, how many... Okay, how much do we still got? Okay, we got, we got a little bit.
he said the world felt found them so easily, and he and he owns ninety nine percent of Mobius. Shit, holy shit! I just realized that you've reached your you've reached your limits. Sonic the Hedgehog limit limit and uh, the, oh you done it now, like, man! You made a piss. Again, we need this Eggman. We need this Eggman in the games. Dare I, dare I say this Eggman is more evil than Sadie and Robotnik. But ha Tay. Ha Tay the gay hypno. <laughs> or hypno gay. <laughs> he is Sadie and Robotnik. That's the thing. Just a different version of that. You know how, you know there was an opportunity they missed could ha could have gone dark sonic and when sonic repeats the words limit ah oh, yeah that could have worked too He got to the east coast that fast Jesus, this is, <laughs> the land is the biggest age of Jesus Christ Why is why is the Archie Eggman is better than the game Eggman? Don't get me wrong, Force. Don't get me wrong. Sonic Force is a new game. Eggman took over 99% of the world with with help. This Eggman, this Eggman can take on Sonic. I, I, I have to say. Are you probably that I had to say? This shows how dangerous Eggman can be if if alone. If alone. He was like this in the games. If if Sonic Forces story was anything like this, we'd be happy. Trust me, I'm with you, dude. I am with you. That's what I was hoping for when I saw the fucking destroyed city that Sonic was running through in the trailer. I was hoping to see that. Like, I was hoping for Eggman to be like, even though he has Infinite, he goes like, No. Infinite can take care of himself. He can, he's doing what I want him to do. But, Rotent, this is between me and you. And the fight is just Sonic getting his ass kicked by... Eggman, and you can't even skip the you can't even skip the cutscene. You can skip, you can try and skip it, but it actually says no. You watch, kind of making it a little bit more spooky. But I would kind of like it. But then your character is the one that saves them. Also, that's why I've been kind of secretive on the rest of Sonic Forces Cry for Freedom, because we are going to get a moment like that. Okay, what else? Ooh, you guys know what we should, you know what I should show you? Because we are not done yet. This is why I think Forces was really trying to capture back in those days. Now look at this. Billions in the country of the world. Like, this was Eggman at his angriest, at his lowest point. Sure, you beat me fair and square not long ago. I'll give you props for that. But how many badniks have I stuck? Like, Eggman is at the end of his rope. And I think that's what they were trying to get to. I think that's what they were trying to hint at. Like, during uh, Generations and during during Lost World, that's, that this ain't the same Eggman that we've known that is so goofy. That Eggman himself is at his breaking point. And I thought Forces was going to be a perfect way 
of Eggman finally losing all control and just trying to fight Sonic by himself. Preferably without the robots. Just him and Sonic. You before Eggman a lot and I'll do it again. And man, I want, I wish they could have used the Egg of Ragnar in a 3D Sonic game. I know they did it in Force. I mean, I know they did it in Mania, but fuck. I want this. I love the crucial joy to this thing. Don't mind if I do. Fine, fine. You want to do it the hard way? You'll have to catch me first. The last day, See, see, Eggman would never be saying all this stuff. You'd be hearing him go, ah, but you would never hear him say, I forbid it. Stop it, stop it. You know, like, I'm telling you, this is like the last plea of his sanity. Slowly slipping away. Should have known better. Wait for it. I hate that hedgehog! <laughs> I don't know why I love that so much. It's just, I know it's it's the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog that really originated from that. But to hear Eggman say this as his sanity is slowly slipping is just so fucking ingenious. And yeah, you guys would be like, oh, Bugsy, stop sucking the comics, dick. Like, I'm not. It's more like it's more like I'm dry humping it, but but, but <laughs> it's more like I'm dry humping it with a slow with a slow boner, but hey, whatever. <laughs> but seriously though. Seriously. Wow, that is cathartic. But any the lifelong duel would do that, wouldn't it? You hear me, Eggman? You're done. I'll leave the speeches about winning the day and conquering evil to Sally. I'll be content with yeah, yeah, and I win. Now watch Eggman lose his shit, everybody. This is what I've been trying to say that, that should have happened in Forces. What I was trying to allude to in my actual theory. Because I thought Eggman was at his breaking point to this point. Ergo, I use this as a thumbnail. Like, this is the true sanity. This is Eggman losing his fucking mind, guys. And I, like, when I saw this, I was like, what the fuck? Holy shit, I mean... I'm used to Eggman, like, getting angry and screaming, but this is different. I I felt kind of bad for Eggman. Not because I like him, but shit! This was just disturbing! It was so disturbing and so not, not normal for Eggman to do! Hey, Doc? Doc I mean, okay, and there was this one time where where Sonic was like, where Eggman basically lost, still lost his mind, and was trying to get Sonic, and Sonic was trying to get him back into the prison, or whatever he was in, and, Ed, like, Eggman was so crazy still. He fucking socked 
Sonic right in his goddamn face. Eggman was like, Badoosh! And Sonic blew for him, and I was like, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? And I know, I know, you guys are probably like, Bugsy, why are you just, um, why are you just glorifying the fact that Eggman's lost his mind? That isn't funny. It's not supposed to be. I'm not trying to amplify it to be funny. It's just the fact of the matter is you have never, we have never seen Eggman really lose his mind. And I thought he was close to that in Forces. I thought if, if Sonic really fucked up this plan with Infinite and all of what he's accomplished... I was hoping for Eggman to actually bust out of the chest burster at Death Egg Robot and fight him himself. Just crazed and dazed and, you know, you got, like, Sonic is Sonic just tells you all to stand back and he just goes at Eggman. And Eggman just goes, and Eggman does go, I hate you, Hedgehog. Hate, hate, hate! And it would just, I don't know, I don't know, that's just my... That's my take on it. Sonic! Sally? We got her as fast as we could. Bunny and Mighty just... Robotnik? Yeah. Bunny and Mighty just what? Right. They just now pulled the doors apart. And the Dark Egg Legion? Fell back a few minutes after you ran in there. Again, I was with them... I was with them when I was reading this too. I was like, "Fuck!" Oh my god, they we literally broke Eggman's fucking mind. No oh shit, they literally just did that. Most amazing things and plots a hundred steps ahead. The world fell to his feet. But guys, you know this is just BS. He wants to fucking fuck the Iron Queen, so he needs Eggman out of the way. And don't be wrong, and don't tell me they didn't do that. Don't tell me that Snively and the and Regina didn't fuck. They did. That's why the Iron King was like, oh, why is Snively being so form familiar with you? They, they banged. They fucking banged. I swear to God, though, what if Snively, what if he wasn't trying to go for the Iron Queen, right? And Snively was literally taking care of Robotnik. Like, I'm, like, legit taking care of him. Because maybe for once in Snively's life, he actually feels bad for his uncle, who's always treating him like shit. Who has always looked down on him and always seen him as a lackey. What if, what if he actually felt bad, for, what if he actually felt bad for Robotnik? To the point where he actually does look at him and we just have a whole different villain show up. What if the Iron Queen, what if the Iron Queen does show up, right? And it was a part of Snipley's plan to actually just throw the crazy old, the crazy old scientist away. But when he saw how Sonic broke him, that's when things changed. What if? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyways, but anyways, folks. I'm 
But anyways, folks, I'm gonna go. And I'm gonna read I was gonna I'm gonna read this comic. I mean, I'm gonna read this comment and then I'm gonna go, guys. Jeez, this jeez, this comic gives me chills to be honest. I like the fact that they took a darker route rather than having Eggman having a Robotnik beaten and go home. Like always, I like how Sonic how Sonic feels actually guilty. Robotnik has been the greatest enemy almost all all his life. And in a strange way, he's actually come atta he's actually become he's actually beca become attached to him. And sure, he hurt people in Sonic. Anything you can about, he's done unforgivable things. But it's like Sonic fighting Sonic fighting Robotnik keeps a consistent balance. Robotnik always loses, Sonic always wins. But never truly wins. As in, never takes him out for good. And then the dot comes back and the cycle repeats. I guess Sonic feels like the balance is broken and he feels guilty about that. Actually, that actually does make sense. But, I mean, if you saw your greatest enemy just fucking just losing his mind, losing his shit right in front of you after you kicked his ass... I mean, when you feel kind of, when you feel kind of fuck, when you kind of feel fucking guilty, like, shit, man. I mean, I kind of would too, I ain't gonna lie. Seeing a motherfucker break in front of you is some, some shit you ain't ever gonna forget. Although I do, you know, deep character development. Well, if Eggman lost, then it's done. All that matters is the kingdom made for the same. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But think, like I'm saying, like think, like think about it, guys. Think about it. The way it started, the way Eggman started to flip his shit, gave me chills too. Again, I think that's where they were trying to go with forces, but I guess they just didn't have a lot of time. Uh, I don't, this is really just have difference to the same thing that made the real thing about Eggman is about this chick snapping like uh, Eggman so damn then the sound of Eggman tearing his mustache really stung man Sonic just fucking Sonic fucking destroyed Eggman and verbally and physically and ment and mentally Mentally way. That is probably the most badass and awesome thing, not only in the comic, but in the entire franchise. Oh, I don't even want to think Bowser breaking down because, I don't know. When you're like me and you voice Bowser for the better half of like three years in your own projects, you kind of have an attachment to him. So seeing Bowser, so seeing Bowser break down like Eggman would be a little too much for even me. Hmm. But yeah, the sentiment kind of rings true. That everybody's kind of like, oh shit. And even I was like, oh shit. Trust me, guys. 
I know that the Archie comic from the onset seems so fucking weird. And you just can't understand it. I understand. For a lot of people, I bet it's fairly confusing. And I can't, ex you know, and I'm trying to do these little videos to really explain to you why people like it. Why I like it. Why I model so much of it in the Sonic Freedom Fighters. And also Sonic Cry for Freedom. Because I feel like Sonic can go this way. Even to the chagrin of some people who just don't get it or think it's too serious. I get it. I understand why you don't want it. But that doesn't mean... But it's like Sonic Team is capable of it. Old Sonic Team would have been totally capable of doing this. New Sonic Team, on the other hand, they're just... They're new. Stretching their legs. Doing what they can. They're not the Sonic team we know that could actually pull this off. But hey. I'm Bugsy. I'm signing off. And I know this wasn't the typical lesson that I would give you. For my Sonic refresher course. But it was something I really wanted to talk about with you guys. And plus, I had something else planned today. And that's not really happening. Because the Jump Force Open Beta is like... Um, the Jump Force Open Beta is basically, like, uh, down for maintenance, which kind of pisses me off. And that was going to be my plan. But when I really started to look at this, and the importance of both the, the Robotic Victorious arc, and this, this one moment, this one instance where you see Eggman lose his shit, I feel like this was important to talk about. Because Eggman has seriously, he seriously, for a while, before he really had, before he actually even had any control of his sanity, he was broken for quite some time, until he actually got it together during the end of the Iron Dominion arc. And this will always be the moment that is the most chilling the most scary, and also, and how real it got when Eggman lost his mind, because I've seen people snap like that before. I've literally seen that shit. So I can understand how real it fucking can get. But I'm gonna go. See you guys later. Bugsy out. And again, this is a, this is what I was talking about in my theory of Sonic Forces. Why all of you disliked it like crazy, this is what I was getting at. Peace.